afraid. Now watch how Willie did this. He said, right in Virginia, up the road, he said, I got a foolproof idea that if you do this, the Negroes will never be able to unite for 300 to 1,000 years. Listen, lay it out, minister, lay it out. And in a few years, Willie Lynch will have delivered that speech 300 years ago. And here's the way it went. He said, I take my slaves and I look at their differences and I multiply them. I make their differences bigger. Start with age and turn the young against the old and the old against the young. Still going on. Then he said, then you deal with color. When all the slaves came, they were all jet black. But he said, you put your sperm in one of the black women, she produce a brownish baby. Come on, teach. Then you add a little more of us and you put a lighter color until you get one that can pass. And then you put them all against each other. Then you take hair, coarse hair, fine hair, and you divide them that way. Then you take the size of the plantation that one slave is on and you make them fight because my, my boss got a bigger plantation than your boss. Then you take north against south, east against west. Then you deal with status on the plantation, a field nigger and a house nigger and a foreman a driver man, and you make them all hate each other. And then he said, you got to reverse the natural tendency of the black woman to depend on the black man. See, as African people, what you read in the New Testament God is the head of man, man the head of woman, woman the head of the child. That's the natural order. Willie Lynch said, let's reverse it. Turn the woman away from depending on the man and make her depend on us. She must find no black man to trust, trust only us. You got to study that woman. And if you can get her like a horse when you're breaking it to eat out of your hand, Come on. then she'll make her children and break them for us.